Hi y'all! Welcome back, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome. We hope that by the end of the video, you'll want to subscribe to our Holistic Healing channel and become a part of our community. I appreciate each and every one of you so very much and I'm having so much fun learning from each of you as we learn and grow together. Today, I am opening a brand new box. So let me tell you a little bit. Um, the company that um, does two of the subscription boxes, really three, but they are revamping a little bit. So the main company is called Wolf and & Time, and Wolf and & Time had three different levels of boxes before. They had the Luna Lux box, which I opened last month, which is about an $80 box and absolutely amazing. Artwork is gorgeous. Everything in it is absolutely gorgeous. Then they had the Luna box, which was their middle box. Um, and that one is, I'm getting this month, but it's actually going away. So they're not going to have that. Then they had the Artist Den, and the Artist Den, so the Artist Den is an $18.50 box, and it's a journal subscription box. Then there's the Wolf and Time box, which was their lowest level box, and that's a $28 box a month. Um, and then they had uh, the Luna box, which I'll open next and do the video for, but this is the last month for Luna box. Uh, and they just started a new box called Bone and Steel. And this is a men's quarterly box, and that's what we're going to be opening today. I am so excited about it. So Bone and Steel is a men's box that's quarterly. It includes five to seven items, and it's $38 a month. So I was super excited for this. Even though it's a men's box, it really speaks to me. It says, curated with 10 self-care and magical items to help you connect to nature, yourself, and the path of the moon. That's me. Expect things like organic teas, crystals, rituals, nature-inspired artists and crafts, handmade goodies, original artworks, oracle cards, books, altered decor, spiritual tools, holistic self-care, and more. So... Yeah, so March is the first box. They do have the box for the following month um, already uh, available at the Wolf and Time uh, website, which I'll put in the video description below. So here we go. Bone and Steel. Just got their boxes. That's the one thing I will say about them. They don't spend any money. Their boxes are just plain boxes and nothing super exciting to look at. Um, I do appreciate when they send nice boxes only because I reuse them, um, but this is not a company that, that does a, a nice, pretty box, per se. But the items in it are well worth it, so I will forgive them for not using a pretty box. So here we open it up. Got their little symbol on the top there, and then tissue paper. Like we've got a card or letter or something on the top, some items on the top, and wow, lots of stuff in there. Yay! Super excited. So we don't have a review of last month's box since this is the first time, and I have already ordered the box for what? July, I want to say. So it's already paid and ordered for. Um, I, I wish that they would still do it recurring because it's kind of a pain to have to go back and order each time, and I'm Scared I'm going to forget because I think this is going to be a box I like. So Bone and Steel, first we have their nice little newsletter. And it's on really pretty paper. And I don't think you can see it, but it's got some little um, faint uh, etchings in there. Um, a little symbol. Can't tell. It looks like a, like a sun or something on there. I don't think you can see it from that far. It's kind of hard to pick up, but it's really a nice touch. Um, greetings, welcome to the path of the pagan, where the northern winds howl and the viking ships sail. You have the very first box of this quarterly series. In this selection, we focused on divination, protection, knowledge, strength, and self-care. We hope you enjoy using your tools and growing your practice. And then it has a description of the items that are in the box there for us. 
So I will read those as we go along. If you're new to my videos, I show the item and then I read the description. If you don't want to listen to the description or you're just interested in one item or you just want a quick review of the box, there are timestamps in the video description and as you scroll along, if you're on an iPad or something like that, you can see the video descriptions of the chapters as they come up and you can just whoop to the next item. Or at the very end, I do a really quick recap of everything that's in the box. So if that's all you're interested in, you could just go to the end there too. So first we have, it looks like our tarot card for the month. That's a really pretty deck. That's the back of the card. And I have no idea how to pronounce this because it is like Viking. Yggdrasil. Yggdrasil. And a pretty tree. I have no idea what that means, so I will have to look that up. That's really pretty. Okay. Viking Oracle card. This card was intuitively selected just for you from the Viking Oracle deck. Perfect to put on your altar, inside your journal, or to meditate with. Focus on what was selected for you and bring the spirit of the Viking. That's why I knew I'd like this box. Viking related. Yeah. Then we have, okay, I'm going to do those later. Oh, this is cute. Cute. It's not cute. It's a leather bracelet. It's got the buckle at the end um, it does have the lacings on it um, it's not super thick but it's not thin either so that's nice what does it say on it oh it's got the runes so if you look on there I don't know if I'm gonna pick it up with the camera there we go see how all the runes are around it and I love runes Viking runes are really fun to play with so, let's see what it says. Um, genuine leather wrist cuff with metal shield. You will get one of four different styles of wrist cuff. All of them are handcrafted genuine leather and bear a metal shield with either the Viking compass or Odin's knot. This must be the Viking compass. They are used, because I don't think that's Odin's knot. I don't know. What does Odin's Knot look like? Maybe that is Odin's Knot. Now I'm going to have to look it up. They are used in Viking lore to help guide, protect, and draw you closer to the realm of o Odin. Um, oh, there we go. The Valk Knot 3. Three interlocking triangles representing the nine worlds in Norse mythology and the cycle of life. And then Veg Visser. A circle of runic staves to help keep you on the right path. I like it. I'm not much of a leather wearer, but I'll bet you that I know a couple of people who might really enjoy this and really be good. Sorry, my kitty's like uh, meowing to get back in the room, so let me go let her in really quick. Okay, she's safe and sound. All right. So what do we have next? Um, this looks like a little letter or something, so let me open it. Oh, Rune Talisman Kit. Okay, so this must go with something that's in there. I'll look for it after this. But it's got a kit to make that little Rune Talisman. That's cute. And then all the directions on how to make it. So there must be all of the items to make it in a bag. So let's see if we can't find that. Looks like it's in this little bag. And inside the bag, if I can get it open. There we go. We have a litter, little leather cord. There is, let me see, digging down in here, there's more stuff down in here, I think, I can't tell. The bag has a, okay, 
I think that's all. Oh, how pretty. So look, we have a little feather. Look how cute that little feather is. That's really a pretty feather. Really cute. Oh, it's got a little baby one too. Look, it's got like a little baby one on it too, right there. <laughs> so cute. Then we've got two rune beads that are silver. Grab just one. It's just got runes going all around this. Come on, focus. Really pretty. Like, really pretty. We've got two bone beads, it looks like. And um, a little bead. Almost looks more glass. It might be a pearl. It does have a hole in it. Both sides, so it's going to thread onto it. And I don't know what it is. So let's see. Um, bison bone beads, which I know some people probably won't be happy with, so I don't know about their sourcing, but I do know about the company, and I do believe that they, you know, everything it seems like they get, they're pretty careful with, and the type of company they are, and working with the owners and stuff, I, I, I'm hoping they're, yeah, hopefully. Um, then the metal rune beads, the feather, the leather cord, and then the central pearl beads. So that is, that's a black pearl. So this is a black pearl. Which is a really nice touch. I've gotten some black pearl jewelry and so that's really nice. That adds a little bit of value to that little talisman. Not that value in a talisman is the most important thing, right? The Rune Talisman Kit. In the burlap bag you have elements for making your own energy-infused talisman. Um, follow the guide sheet included in your box to create your talisman. Each one is unique and you and your um, rune beads were chosen intuitively just for your kit. As you create it, make it a sacred time for yourself to put the intention you want into the process. The more energy you infuse, the stronger it is. Um, then we have this little black tin, probably a candle. It is a men's box, so plain white tin, probably nice. Oh, oh my gosh. Mm. Oh. It's very calming, but I can't tell what it is. Hmm. So it has one little stone in it, so it doesn't have a lot of herbs, but it does have one little stone in there and it smells absolutely heavenly. I wish they were poured just a little bit higher because I love my candles, but I know candles are expensive to make. So that is beautiful. Let's see what it has to say. Meditation candle. This hand poured candle is infused with the energy of protection and has natural essential oils and kiwi jasper. So the stone in there is a kiwi jasper. Use it to help you protect yourself during meditation and to guide you through your rune cast at, at your altar. The lid has been left blank so you can carve your own rune on top of it. You also get a bay leaf to go with it to write what you want to manifest on it. After you are finished, put your energy into the leaf and burn it into the candle to activate your intentions. So that's pretty neat. So they left this lid blank so that you could scratch in a rune if you wanted to with your intentions. You could also do like a sigil and put a sigil on there for whatever work that you're doing with it as well. That's awesome. Um, the only thing that I do not like is they didn't talk about what essential oils are in it. And again, as a natural past student, you know that's one of my pet peeves. Um, people do have sensitivities and allergies, and I always think it's a good idea to have an ingredient list of what is in here. And it just says, has essential oils. So, I wish they would uh, let us know what's in the candle. Uh, same thing with a lot of oil rolls and stuff. When they do that, it really, yeah, bugs me. 
What else do we have? Oh, let's look at these little bay leaves because it talked about those. So there are bay leaves that are tucked down in here. And that's kind of cool. So you can write your intentions just like you would on a piece of paper, but write them on the bay leaf. And then with your candle, when you set your intention and everything, you can burn the bay leaf in the candle um, to uh, set in your intention. So that's kind of a cool little kit. I like that. I like that a lot. So far, so good, right? Then we have our stick incense, and they usually just give a variety of stick incense, so you can see they're all different. Um, this isn't my favorite way to get incense because I have no idea what it is. And I try and be really mindful on what type of incense I'm burning. And on top of that, I'll be honest, I don't burn stick incense that much. I mostly use, um, you know, herbs and uh, I'll burn incense on a charcoal uh, disc kind of a thing more than I end up using this type of an incense or I'll use the Tibetan rope incense. So this will probably get give, put in a giveaway box. Let's see what it says. Natural resin incense sticks. You have three resin sticks that burn for one hour each from holy resins such as copal, frankincense, myrrh, benzin, and damar to help you smudge your tools and space. So that's good that at least they've kind of told us what the options are. And those are the resins that I end up burning on the charcoal. So um, in some ways it's nice to have a couple of sticks here because it takes a long time to burn the charcoal discs and get them ready to put incense on. Usually that's not an issue for me because I use that as part of my preparation time and setting my intention. But uh, if you don't have the time and you're just going out to accomplish something really quick, it's kind of nice to have a stick incense. Um, or the stick incense, uh, the I should say the incense that I burn on the charcoal tends to have a lot more smoke. So um, if I'm doing something indoors, it might be nice to have stick incense. Then we have another little bag, a bag with a big rock. Ooh, this is fluorite, and that is a gorgeous piece of fluorite super green that is beautiful look at that y'all that is so pretty I love how big and chunky these are and look at that oh, so pretty that is a beautiful piece of fluorite. Beautiful. Um, premium blue-green raw fluorite. This specimen of fluorite has a beautiful glow of blue and green in the light. It naturally has geometric shapes that look like they are almost carved in. Your included artwork goes with the crystal to help you understand its energy and to use as a tool for knowledge. Cleanse your crystal with a smudge or incense smoke, then charge it either in the moonlight or by placing it into the earth or by setting it next to a charging crystal such as a clear quartz or a selenite. Um, the other thing I like to do, because I have so many crystals all around my house that it would take me forever to pick everyone up and take them outside in the moonlight, that kind of thing. So a lot I'll use sound to clear all my crystals. So I'll go around with my Tibetan bowl and ring my Tibetan bowl to clear all the crystals that are in the house. I like that because you can do it at any time and it reaches all the crystals in your house as you walk around. So it talked about the artwork, which is one of the things I love about this box. So let's pull out. There's two artwork pieces in here, and one they just talked about was this fluorite. So look at that. Beautiful. So it says fluorite, blue-green, throat and heart chakras, wind element, calcium chloride. This crystal grows in cubic or octahedral patterns. It comes in the colors of green, purple, oh, I love purple, I love the purple. 
But this is a gorgeous color green. It would be really nice for some heart work or for some throat chakra work. Um, but it comes in green, purple, yellow, white, pink, black, red, and rainbow. It's good for clear communication and expressing ideas, clearing out your negative self-talk, and healing your soul. It helps you diffuse any fears of the future and create emotional balance. It helps stabilize brain activity, enhances learning, keeps you focused during meditation, and strengthens your abilities. That's gorgeous. And being a man's box, that's a really nice stone. Like if I was a man, and especially if I didn't have any experience or didn't really use stones, that's a beautiful first piece to use. And I think it would really speak out. It speaks out to me too, but that's really nice piece. Um, you know, I, I think for a man to hold and to the energy in it is just really nice. So then the next art piece that I'm going to go ahead and pull out now, even though I know I probably haven't opened what it goes with because there's one more bag after this card. So I think we're going to figure out what it is, but that's okay. Because, you know, how can you have a Viking box without runes, right? So this is our second piece of artwork, and it has all the runes on it. That's gorgeous, and I like having something like this over having a booklet to turn pages. The fact that I can just set this beside me, I can pull the runes, I can see what the runes say to me, and then I can quick glance over and get a few keywords to... Um, see the meaning because I don't have the runes memorized yet. I don't use them all that often but I really have fun when I do use them. I have probably three sets already so this will be my fourth set. So let's read the original artwork prints. You have two 5x7 cards that have been carefully created just for this box. Use them to guide you with your tools or for reference on your path. Um, Elder Farnick Rune Key which is this one and then the Fluorite uh, Crystal Page. So then last but not least in this, we have one more bag, and it says right even on it, runestone. So let's see. What do you think? I'm going to guess black with gold because it's a man's box. So I'm going to guess black with gold. Ah, I was right. <laughs> and you know what? I really like these. So um, I'm just going to kind of show you stones are so hard to hold when there's you can just kind of see and then you've got so I like that they're not all the same size you've got stones that are all different shapes so you've got you know ones that are smaller you've got ones that are bigger and a lot of rune sets kind of have um, they're a little bit different, like they look like different rocks, but they're all about exactly the same size. So I kind of really like the aesthetics of this, that it's just all different sizes of rocks with a rune on it. Um, one thing to know about runes is there is one rune in there that has no symbol on it, and that is your blank rune, and that is part of a rune set. So if you find one that doesn't have a rune on it, they didn't make a mistake. It is one of the runes. So that's a really nice rune set. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it or pass it on. I'll probably look at my other sets, maybe keep this one and pass one of my other sets on. Black Agate Rune Set. This hand-carved rune set is inscribed with gold symbols representing nature and the connection to spirit. With it, you have the velvet pouch to keep them safe and an art print as a quick rune key. Connect with your set by stashing it under your pillow and bringing your energies together until you're ready to work with them. In any practice, your divination is your own, but a good way to start is to ask your guides to be with you and to help you select your three stone cast. Simply put your energy into your hand, gently cast the stones, and then intuitively choose three. Read your meaning in the order that you turn them and meditate on your message. That's interesting to cast them and then grab three. I've usually just reached in the bag or had them in my hands and then picked three. So all different ways that you can do these types of uh, 
um, ceremonies or divinations. So what do you think about this box? I actually am pretty happy with it. So in this box, we got the Viking Oracle card. We got the premium blue-green raw fluorite that was just gorgeous. The original artwork prints, the Elder Farnick Rune Key was one of them, and the fluorite crystal, crystal page with information on our green fluorite on the other art piece. We got a Rune Talisman Kit, a Meditation Candle, uh, Natural Resin Incense Sticks, a Black Adagate Rune Set, and a Genuine Leather Wrist Cuff with Metal Shield. I think they did a great job with their first box. Giving you two thumbs up, Bone and Steel, for your first box. Congratulations on the new box, and I'm super excited to get the box next quarter, March, April, May, June. June box, I think? April, May, June. I think the June box. So like I said, I've already ordered it. We've got that secured, and I'm excited to get that box and see what is in it. Please remember to subscribe and like this video. Leave me a comment below and let me know how you're doing. How is it coming into this springtime for you? Are you starting to see less restrictions from COVID and having a little bit more freedom to get out in nature now that it's not so cold? Let me know how you're doing. I do care about all of you and I hope to see you back soon to the channel where you can say, Karma's my friend. Bye y'all. Have an awesome day.